Now I have a guest in the studio, Paul Blom, and Paul is going to tell us all about this rather intriguing initiative called Sound on Screen Music Film Festival. Paul, hello and welcome. Hi, thanks for having me. Um, do you know, I think this is an interview that I would have liked to have spent an hour with you at Pecan because there's so there's much a that's going on there. So what are we going to do is we're going to be doing sound bites, nuts and bolts, nuts and bolts to get everything through because there's yeah. such a lot of information. <laughs> so let's first tell us a bit about the festival and I see it's, it's in its 13th year so you guys must be doing something right. Yeah, well, uh, we're persistent. <laughs> so <laughs> that, that's probably the main thing. Um, yeah, no, we, we started in, in 2010. Uh, we run other film festivals as well, like the like the Horror Fest over Halloween time. Um, and it's just, you know, there was we just saw a gap. There was no one doing a festival, uh, a film festival dedicated to music. And we love music and we love movies and documentaries, so it just made sense. So, so t- um, what's the format? How do you, how do you present it then? Well, I mean, we, we used to have it mainly at the Labia Theatre. That was before the pandemic. Um, and then we started expanding uh, to doing a, an online festival as well. For all our festivals, we have an online component. But this year, the, we just haven't been able to get slots at the Labia Theatre. So this year, it is strictly streaming at Quicket. So people can access it anywhere in South Africa. You don't have to be in Cape Town to, to enjoy the festival this time around. So we've got over 50 movies, feature, uh, feature films, documentary short films. Yeah, streaming. Now that's what I said. I'd, I'd like to go through every single movie but yeah. we don't. So could you do me then a favor and break it up into the genres and the categories? So what genres do you have in categories? Absolutely everything. <laughs> we've got from, from pop and rock and heavy metal and punk to classical, experimental, it's reggae, there's absolutely everything. Um, for the, well, specifically for Fine Music Graham, the classical stuff, there's quite a few interesting titles there. We've got um, um, classics in Brazilian, Choro. It's an interesting movie on these uh, kind of legendary Brazilian musicians adapting classical music into that it sounds wonderful very already Brazilian sounds style. wonderful already <laughs> yeah and we're actually uh, pairing that up with a short film called muse art it's about a violin player who lost play music so he started painting but then his paintings are almost exclusively dedicated to painting musical instruments and especially the violin which he loves so much which he can't really can't. play so he, he ends up painting it so it's a very very interesting little little documentary like that um, we also have, uh, we've paired two movies together, um, dedicated to teaching music, including classical music. Um, the one is called Unseen. It's a Russian short. It's about four students. Um, one is an opera singer, one is a violin player, one plays um, accordion. And just how they, how they make their way through, through school and wanting to become musicians. Um, And then the second one is called Chameleons, which is an Austrian documentary looking at um, just teaching, teaching music to young people. I'm fascinated with the, the the format fascinates me still and that it's been going for 13 years so um, and you've got 50 movies so people see a movie and is there then a discussion on the music because the emphasis obviously is music yeah it, it, it varies some of it is um, like we have a, a musical from Ukraine um, it's it's just a, a filmed musical that they did linked to the to the revolution from 2014 um, and then other movies are strictly documentaries like biopics looking at a specific artist. We have ones looking at specific instruments like timbila. It's like a xylophone instrument right, from yeah, Mozambique. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's everywhere. <laughs> covers, covers everything music related. <laughs> even, even, even something that is, um, well, it's sort of music and sound. There's a short film as well from New, from, uh, New Zealand. Uh, an animated short about a girl who can't speak so she communicates through sound effects and stuff like that so it's sort of sound and music and um another another one is a documentary Sorry, what is on that one called because i'm pearl. sure that w- pearl yeah is it's, that it's, w- it's part of the short we've got a short film collection it's got about 15 shorts of absolutely anything and everything so it's a nice melting pot of every kind of genre every kind of story animation fiction Real, real musicians and some music videos. It's just a nice little mixture of stuff. Um, but the, um, there's another one that is not music. Well, it is music related, but not to specific musician. But uh, documentary looking at Capital Radio 604, which is a very important radio station in South Africa's history, um, where they created it under the guise of playing good music, but then 
giving people in the apartheid era sort of the real news in between, which was yep, which was yep, quite revolutionary by the, by the mm. SABC. So it's a very very interesting deep dive documentary in how that station got created and all the de- most of the DJs who were involved is in it, and it's yeah very very interesting. What is the name of that film? Um, it's Music Power. Mi- the power of music once yeah. again, and then the other one which e, which which piqued my interest was the one called Spinning Gold. Yes, that is actually the only cinema screening that we have, and that will be the closing screening, and it's also a free screening. Say that again. <laughs> <laughs> a free cinema screening, closing the festival on the 9th of April. So just tell people about that because it's re- yes. it looks really interesting. Um, it's it's a biopic on um, Neil Bogart. He created Casablanca Records in the 70s. And they, I mean, they released bands like Kiss, Donna Summer, so it was, uh, and Bill Withers, the Isley Brothers, Village People, so it was sort of a cross between like rock, soul, disco, they released anything and everything, and it was, you know, landmark music that they released. So it's a biopic on, it's a, the, the, the guy's son actually wrote, wrote and directed it, Neil Bogart, um, and it looks at his dad's life and how he created this label and obviously in the 70s there are lots of lots of ups and downs that went with it 70s were an era to, oh, <laughs> gosh so, so yeah so um we, we we managed to get this as a as a free screening it releases a week later so it's a pre-release screening and people can get free tickets so if they check out our website it's flamedrop.com slash sos or at the at the cricket at the cricket page, right. there'll be details on how they can get tickets. And the other thing which I, when I went through all the notes that you sent me, thank you for that. I wish more people who do interviews would send <laughs> me so much. I always think it's too much. <laughs> no, it's great to have so much notes. So one goes. So, and how many, which countries are sort of features? Which production countries are featured? Oh, USA, UK, Brazil, South Africa, Norway, Switzerland, um, absolutely every part of the world. Malaysia, Australia. Estonia, also known as Cyprus, Switzerland. So, you, the so there's, there's something covered. for everybody, yes. literally, in, yeah. on this on this planet. So, Paul, if one wanted to now actually uh, book Howard, where would one get a, a, a catalog or what? Doing they that? can go to Cricket. They can search for sound on screen at Cricket. Okay. Or because the, um, that's also where it's it's streaming at Cricket. So you get the tickets, and um, you can get individual tickets, and then for a. A ridiculous full festival pass of just 175 rand. I saw that. I couldn't believe it. 175 festival. for the whole festival. Yeah, and um, the reasoning. I mean, we don't want to overprice it. And you know, people have so many streaming services yeah, already yeah, yeah. that they think, you know, I'm paying this this month. I'm not going to pay kind, kind of the price of a, of my streaming service I'm paying for this month. Um, so we just thought, let's just make it affordable that people can't really have an excuse to say that it's too expensive for starters. But also, all of these movies. Abs- um, well, almost absolutely every single one of these movies is you won't find it anywhere on any streaming platform in any cinema in because I mean they're all brand new they haven't been, re- been released yet some of them are still looking for distribution some of them are still doing the film festival circuits so there's it's just yeah this is stuff that you won't see anywhere else so folks if you want to be a couch potato be a couch potato but be an haute cuisine couch potato yes. and in the comfort of your own lounge as Paul just said there's o- over 50 movies and I'm just going to repeat the countries from United States United Kingdom South Africa Ukraine Spain Norway Austria the Russian Federation Germany Chile New Zealand Turkey Mozambique Canada Syrian Arab Republic, France, Estonia, Malaysia, Brazil, Israel, Australia, Portugal, Cyprus, and Switzerland. You can visit all these countries filmically in the comfort of your own lounge. And as Paul also said, there so many genres are covered and so many um, facets of music are covered as well. And it's as simple as going to web tickets and checking no, out Quicket. I'm uh, sorry, Quicket. Yeah, uh, simple as going to Quicket. And don't forget that final film that will be that will be screamed free. Um, and which date is that one? That will be Sunday the night of April and like I said on Cricket or at flamedrop.com slash SOS people can get the details on how to secure some tickets for that it's limited so they'll have to move and how long is the festival running? It's until Sunday. Until Sunday. So there's Sunday n- midnight. So this is the one time people will tell you to not get up from your couch yes. and watch. Paul, thank you so much. Gosh. Thank you. And I'm looking forward to the 14th. Thanks so much. One.